Hello guys, I am Flash Isaac and having done a lot on that matrix and determinants like addition and subtraction of uh, matrices, determinant of matrices, inverse of matrices, multiplication of matrices and even using matrices to solve simultaneous equation. I will share a link to all that below so you go through them. Today, I will be taking you through jam pass questions on that matrix the questions jam have said on that matrix and how to answer them in this video i assume that you already followed my matrix classes or you have a good background of matrix you just want to refresh your brain otherwise i'll wait for you to go through other videos the links are below now the first question says evaluate this matrix plus this. This is a two by two matrix, and this matrix involves uh, scalar multiplication using a value or a constant to multiply matrix. The first thing we do here is simply bring out this three minus two minus seven and five. So this to multiply this. We use 2 to multiply everything inside the matrix. This gives us plus 2 times minus 2 is minus 4. So here we have minus 4. 2 times 4 is 8. 6 minus 2. We've simplified. The next step is to add straight up. So this gives us this plus this. This is uh, row 1, column 1. This is in first row, first column. This is in the second row and second column. This is in the first row, second column, first row, second column. So the similar positions, the ones that are similarly placed in each of the matrices, we add them together. This gives us 3 plus minus 4. Then this gives us minus 2 plus 8. This gives us minus 7 plus 6. This gives us 5 plus minus 2. So this is equals 3 plus minus 4 is 3 minus 4. Because plus minus is minus. Plus times minus is minus. So here we have 3 minus 4, that's minus 1. Here is uh, 6. Here is minus 1. Here is 5 plus minus 2, that's 5 minus 2, so here is 3. So this is the answer to that question. So this is a 3 by 3 matrix. And I've solved many questions under uh, determinants of 3 by 3 matrices. So to solve this, you simply assume here is plus, here is minus, and here is plus. After doing that, you look at it. Starting with this, this is 0, plus 0. Bring out the plus 0 plus zero then in either imaginary or on the rough note assume you cross here and you cross here if you cross here and here it means we are left with seven eight five four so simply bring that here seven eight five four then we are done with this we come here here is minus three so simply bring this minus 3 up. So minus and 3, minus 3. Then you draw the matrix. Now we are dealing with this. So similarly, we draw a straight line like this to cover this. We draw another one to cover this. That means the ones not covered under this condition are 1, 8, 0, 4. So you put them here. 1, 8, 0, now, we are done with this. We are here now. Plus and 2. So, we bring this here. Plus, then 2. If it were, min if here were minus 2, here will be plus minus 2. So, we are here now. We draw an imaginary line here. And we also draw it to cross this straight line, straight line. So, crossing here and here, we are left with 1, 7, 0, 5. So, 1, 7, 0, 
simplifying. The next step is to simplify by looking for the determinant of each 2 by 2 matrix plus 0. The determinant of this guy is simply 7 times 4 minus 5 times 8 minus 3. The determinant here is 1 times 4 minus 0 times 8. So plus 2. 1 times 5, 1 times 5, minus 0 times 0. So, we've gotten the determinants. And we would have simplified here. But no matter the value you get here, immediately you multiply by 0, everything goes back to 0. So, no need. So, here is 0 minus 3. 1 times 4 is 4. 0 times 8 is 0. So, here is 4 minus 0. So, 4 plus 2. 1 times 5 is 5. 0 times 7 is 0. We are left with minus 12 plus 10. This is equals minus 2. So that is the determinant of this 3 by 3 matrix. Determinant is simply a special number that can be calculated from a square matrix. This is pretty straightforward. Given is equals 58. Given this matrix, and S, the first thing you do is find the determinant. So this is simply uh, 9 times 2 minus S times minus 4 is equals 58. 18 minus S times minus 4 is minus 4S is equals 58. 18 Minus times minus is plus. So 18 plus 4s is equals 58. 4s is equals 58 minus 18. s is equals 58 minus 18 over 4. So this is equals 40 over 4. That should be 10. So that's the answer to that question. Minus 2 times Q plus 1 times S. Then 2 times P, 2 times P plus 3 times R. Then space 2 times Q plus 3 times S. So that's the pattern for multiplication. And for matrices to be multiplied, the number of colon in one matrix must be equal to the number of rows in the second matrix. So this gives us minus 2p plus r minus 2q plus s um, 2p plus 3r 2q plus 3s is equal to 1, 0, 0, 1. So given this, we've gotten our answer. Look at it because this is called equal matrices. It means, since this is in row 1, column 1, everything here is equal to everything here. Everything here is equal to everything here. Everything here is equal to everything here. And everything here is equal to everything here. So for example, minus 2p plus r is equal to 1. Minus 2q plus S is equals zero. So that is the pattern. So from there you can solve to get whatever you want. So I already established it and gotten the uh, similarities between them. Two M is simply using two to multiply everything here. So this should give you two C's four. 8, 10, minus 2, minus 6, 4, and 0. Why? Oh, 3n is simply using 3 to multiply n. 3n is equals 3 times 1 is 3. 3 times minus 2 is minus 6. 9, 12, minus 3, 15. 
is so 3n is using uh, every using 3 to multiply every element of matrix n why 2n is using 2 to multiply every element of matrix n so therefore 2n minus 3n is simply equals subtracting this from this and remember in matrix addition or subtraction we subtract the ones that are in similar positions so here is simply 2n minus 3n is simply 2 minus 3 2 minus 3 then here 6 minus minus 6 so 6 minus then minus 6 so here is 4 minus 9 13 and 3 so 2m minus 3m is simply this matrix what is the next question saying the next question says if p is equals this guy find s if p is equals 10 so this is a uh, equality matrix uh, matrix or equal matrix so what we do here is simply look for the determinants and equate it so the determinants is simply s plus 3 times s minus 1 minus s plus 1 times s plus 2 is equals 10 open up this bracket this should be s square minus s plus 3s minus 3 then minus this minus is here, take note of it, big minus. Yes, s square plus 2s plus s times s is s square, s times 2 is 2s, 1 times s is s plus 2 is equals 10. So, uh, looking at this, s square minus s, this should cancel already. Minus s plus s, this should cancel already so what is remaining is uh, 3s uh, 3s minus 3 minus 2s plus 2 is equals 10 when you are solving something like this a good way to follow is simply put here in bracket and put here in bracket so use this minus to multiply everything here the method we use, we succeed there because there is no minus inside here. So that is the ID uh, procedure. Minus times this, minus times this, and open up. So if this is actually correct, then here will simply be S minus 1 is equals 10. So S is equals 11. So that is the answer to that question. So uh, this question is inverse of 2 by 2 matrix. So let's, let's call the matrix A. If A is... 5, 3, 6, 4. To find the inverse, A inverse is simply adjoint of A over determinant of A. And the determinant of A, which is symbol for determinant of A, is equals 5 times 4 minus 6 times 3. 5 times 4 is 20. And 6 times 3 is 18 so determinant of a is equals to we've gotten the determinant how about adjoint how do we get the adjoint it's simple this is what we do of a is simply equals take this up and bring this down so take four up bring five down then change the size of the ones here so here becomes four here becomes 5, we flipped. Then here is 3, or plus 3. We change it to minus 3. Here is 6, or plus 6. We change it to minus 6. So if here we are minus 6, here we change it to plus 6. So we flip the sign. That's how you look for the adjoint. So A inverse is simply adjoint 4 minus 3 over 2. So you therefore go ahead to divide everything by 2 if you are simplifying. So A inverse is equals 1 over 2 
4 minus is minus 3, 5. And it is equals 4 over 2 minus 3 over 2 minus 6 over 2, 5 over 2. So you can go ahead to say 4 divided by 2 is 2, 2 minus 3, 5 over 2 minus 3 over 2. That's how you go about that one. The next question says that I3 is an identity matrix of order 3. Order 3 simply means a uh, 3 by 3 matrix. So this is identity matrix of order 3 is simply something like this. 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. So this is 3 by 3 identity matrix. Why I2 or identity matrix of order 2 or 2 by 2 identity matrix is 1, 1, 0, 0. So 2 by 2 means 2 rows and 2 columns. Why 3 by 3 means 3 rows and 3 columns. But that's not the end of the question. The question says, find the determinants. This is the symbol for determinants. So it says find I3. So what you simply do is look for the determinant of this 3 by 3 matrix. So the last question is a matrix leading to simultaneous equation. So I'll tell you what to do here. I've already solved a lot on this. S is equals A inverse C. Look, see, look at how it comes about. You have Y and you have S. This is equals uh, 7 minus 11 divided by this. So you see? So this becomes inverse. So this everything here is referred to as A, this is S, and this is C. To solve this simultaneous equation, S, okay, Y over S is simply equals 5, 2, minus 6, minus 7, inverse times 7, minus 11, it's S. So, I rushed through it because I've already solved a lot of questions under this. I've shared the link to them. So go there and see each of the tutorial and each of the methods in full. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more amazing videos. If you have questions, share in the comment box below.